Hey, how's everybody doing? Picking me up? Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm wearing Halloween shirts way after Halloween. It was the clean shirt on top of the pile. I was hoping to film this inside. I really was, but I am. Oh, current situation. I just want to have access to quiet inside. So, doing out there uh, a couple days ago. Went with a couple friends of mine up to a comic shop I didn't know about. It was up in original Mississippi called Comic Commander. Got through there, went to the nearby mall, and I looked around Hot Topic for 10 minutes, realized there ain't shit in here for me. Walked down to Spencer's, there ain't shit in here for me. And then the only thing that really caught my eyes, they had a machine in the mall that sold weave. Like, you could buy a weave, like, for your hair. I took a picture of it. I was just like, it's a weave machine. This is amazing. Yeah? Then we went to Books and Billions. So I'm going to start off with what I picked up Books and Billions. I only picked up one thing. <sighs> And I did not know at all that this had ever come out. It says the fried pie variant. This is Wet Hot American Summer of the Comic. It's like 20 bucks for you. See, I only pay $5 for it. What is this? It, uh, I flipped through it. Just really, I didn't even flip through it. It's been sitting in the back since I got home a couple of days ago. Oh, the bad news. It's a creative team on this. We got 2018. Written by Christopher Hastings. Illustrated by Noah Hayes. Colored by Re Rebecca Nolte. Letter by Jim Campbell, covered by Joe Clonones. Fried cover, fried pie exclusive cover by Joe Isma, I guess. Okay. Like what our American Summer. Go watch the movie if you haven't seen it. Great movie. Great movie. TV, the two shows on Netflix ain't bad either. I gotta finish the reunion. I think I got like two episodes left of that. The comics. Okay, so Comic Commander. <clears throat> Dude's got a good selection. Older guy running it. Shop's been there for quite a while. Um got all the new stuff you know and trades and dvds and old toys and i was just like point me to the cheap bins you know, point me to the cheap bins i went down the cheap bins and started digging i was digging mostly through the independent cheap bins dollar a comic and they're not in any kind of order really so let's see here first we got giant size star course and presents annual this is issue number 56 we got some next men we got some aliens we got what is this on the oh it's sin city and there's some, uh, this is, um, Big Fat Kill, I think. Not a big, um, the first Sin City story. What the fuck did they end up titling it? Like, a long, hard goodbye? Yeah, I flipped, I flipped a couple pages of it. There you go. Get to see it there. So, a cool little find. I, mean, I like Dark Horse Presents. I'm trying to get a full run. Oh, this right here. This is like, and I have the trade of this. And I used to have every one of these, but I lost them over the years. I saw the first. This is Maxi Mortal issue four from Tundra, of course. And this is um, Rick Beach's Superman and the story of Superman and his creators. Some gorgeous color artwork there. It's Rick Beach, so you know it's going to be great. I'll do a little more thorough on that another time. This is one I remember seeing being advertised and just never This is Oz Squad from Brave New World. Um, this is from 91. Let's see. Stephen Alquist is the writer. Andrew Murphy's the penciler. It looks pretty good. If I remember right, this like a couple issues this came out from this company and then they folded and some other company took it over and finished the series. Uh, <clears throat> some Jaime Herman Hernandez, uh, Penny Century issue five. I always enjoyed Love and Rockets when I read it. I always enjoyed Jaime and Berto, Beto's work, so picked it up. You know, typical. Okay, I can show that page. But typical, you know, Change of Paradise artwork, great stuff. For a buck, you know. <coughs> oh, well, these are out of order, but I grabbed these just because I've never seen these in person. This is Razor Archive number one. It's like four issues in here, and it's like three, four dollars. I mean, y'all know, it's Everett Hart, so, you know, how nice is the bad girl stuff? How much of this can I ship? I'm not sure how much of this. Oh, there's some extreme gore right there. Let me show that. Just thought I'd take a chance. I've read a big chunk of the Razor stuff, and then we got Razor Archives. This is number five, you know? You see the cover's really wrapped up. This other one, three or four issues. Now, this one, yeah. I'm not paying too much. Look at that. Just stab them through head. New splatter punk. <clears throat> this. Oh, this is the one when I brought it up there. The, this comic and another stack, the owner was like, oh, you picked out some good stuff. Flinch number one. I'm gonna go way more in depth on this layer. This is Vertigo. It's a horror anthology. I don't think it lasted long. But you got three tales, and I just looked at the cover and was like, okay, we got Jim Lee. Yeah. 
Bruce Jones, hey, Richard Corbin, and Frank Quitely. Yeah, right there, boom, that all likely got stuck in the pile. This, just I never see these issues anywhere, and I looked it up, I'm like, ooh, first artwork. Like, this is Rock and Roll Comics, issue, what, 38, Rod Stewart. The reason I picked it up is, art by Terry Dodson. Who's become fairly well known now? This is Revolutionary Congress back cover. It's the first print. This is fairly newish. It's IDW on chest. It's Garbage Trail Kids, Petacular. And I'm like, okay, it's Garbage Trail Kids. And I saw this at the top. Baggy. It's Peter Bag's out art here. So, of course, I'm going to grab it because it's Peter Bag. I love me some Peter Bag. Grabbed it. Let's say, I haven't really. I flipped through a couple of these. So. This. <laughs> I don't know why I do this because I have every one of these. This is hate number 16. I have every issue. You know, like me, I think like issues one through three, I might not have first printings on, but anytime, any, any, any time, I'm in the cheap bin and I find an issue of hate, I just grab it. It just becomes habit. And this got the great comic on the back where they discuss it's a Lisa and Valerie discussing other terms for the word vagina. <laughs> it's great. I can't really go into it. This is the color. This is issue 16. So this is what? The first color issue, I think? Yeah. This is the first color issue. But he's moved back to Jersey and all that. Oh, such a great series. Okay. This is why I'm trying to complete the run. I got a bunch of. This is the third volume one. Married to Children comic from now. This is issue two. None of these have posters. This is the second one. And, um, art's not bad. And it's not great. The later issues I've had. Oh, look at that tiger ad on the back for Batman. The, there's later issues I had with better art. This is issue three, of course. You know, hey, you want some more? Put, you know. Whoa, why did it get dark? Huh. You put Christina Applegate on the back cover. On the front cover. Another Batman ad. And this is issue four. Get Alan. I'd love to have a post, big, nice, big poster ad. Huh. Champion of the Universe turn. This, after I grabbed and got home, I realized I already had this. This is Epic Comics Martial Law number two. Just a great cover. I've already got it, though. That was a bad thing. I did not have my list with me. Now, my list is not complete. I'll be first to admit my list is not complete. I updated first. Last time I updated was like five years ago, so it's way behind. <clears throat> this is one of those I never read a lot of back in the day, but I'm, I started reading it now. Robo Hunter from um, 2008. This is issue three of the Eagle Runs. This, I didn't even look. Yeah, it's in color. Wagner and Gibson. Okay. This caught mine. And this is just a, yeah, it's slightly, let me see, it's slightly smaller and not as, this is uh, the same man's last Friday feature in the same amount. Most of pictures now will become $2.20 value on the cover. I think this was probably a video store giveaway. Nobody really working on it you ever heard of. Came out through Malibu and uh, Sleep Stalker. The Sandman's Last Rites was a horror movie that, girl, they, back when this came out, this came out in like 90, 95. We discovered it at the video store and fell in love with it, and I don't think it's ever got anything past like a DVD release, and DVD ain't released to come out, so I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. I like them kind of tie-in comics. This, another one, that, it's just, it's Bad Dog Graphics, issue one of Splat, but, see right here, Peter Bag, I'm gonna grab it, and, Flip through it, and it's just kind of like a little bit of everything. I mean, like, let me see what the Peter bags and some good art in here. It's a little two page Peter bag strip. This now, this is coming up to the run where the owner's like, Okay, yeah, you thank you. <laughs> I got issues two through like nine of three bullets. The first three bullets are like El Capitan, Dave Lapham. It's one of them series where I've read pieces, but not a con good continuous run. These are all in really good shape. I mean, they've been sitting in boxes forever. And so he's like, nice choice. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, cool. And then we talked about his wall books. He had a good X-Men run. He had, like, some Eclipse Miracle Man. I was explaining to him how. And I had two copies of the final issue. One I paid, man, I don't know what it got. It's funny. I paid way under guy back then. And the other one I paid, like, 50 cents a dollar to for. I'm sitting down and reading me some straight books. I got to get issue one. I'll go online and get issue one. Only one was bagged. I don't know why. It was bagged. Who knows? Yeah. Just heard how, yeah, I remember how great this was. And I don't think it lasted more than about 10 issues originally. 
I'm gonna say that for last. Okay. <clears throat> this, just because it's Music City Comics, this is Titan number two. This is, um, 90s Moon, I'm thinking, yeah, 90s Moon, uh, black and white, independent book from Tennessee. I've never heard of the company. I took a chance. Yeah, it, it's, art's not great, but it's okay. This, oh man, Troll Lords. I love Troll Lords. This is issue five of the True Studios. I don't think it's in there. I don't think there's like any trades of this. It's just, this girl's going to kill herself and these three trolls who are kind of based on the three stooges end up keeping her alive. Great little series. Black and white art, but really nice black and white art. Really, really nice black and white art. This is the one I was kind of curious about. When I got it, it was just bad. I got it. Just said Two Fisted Tales. Alright, it's EC reprints. We'll take a chance. And what this is, this is Gemstones. Reprinting of... Doo -doo -doo. I don't know what issue it is. Tell me anywhere. It does not, but it's EC and it's inexpensive. I grab any of these Gemstones. or a Gemstone. There's Russ Cochran. A couple companies in the 90s trying to get these back in. They're on newsstands. I was a little curious about it. Oh man, down the last two. Okay. This is John Bolton and Mass Magazine. Y'all you know who John Bolton is. Great artist. This is a German magazine done in English. There's just all kinds of like list of his art and I can't show a lot of this. Interview with uh, Chris Claremont. Probably gonna do a video on it. And it came with oh wow. Well, about this one. This trading card. And that's our, this is the other book that got coming. Well, you can't do bad with Bolton. You know, this would be for a buck. I'm going to say it. I didn't know it was in a bag. And it's got this like our ad for a print. There's a poster, but I can't show the poster. I mean, I, I think you can kind of get away with on nudity on YouTube, but I'm not sure. And then, oh man. T Manor Cream number two, look at signed. But it doesn't say Stefan Damien down there, so I don't know. I haven't even opened this up yet. I keep tape on bags, it just gets in the way. Probably Mark Schmitz or Robert Gawler. This is Dagger Comics, second issue of this. Oh, I'm going to do a long form video on this. Team Anarchy. I saw that. Oh my God, Team Anarchy. No way else we got it. It's an inside joke between me and a buddy of mine. But that's it. Short video. I guess I'll go ahead and put this up today. I mean, might as well. Hope y'all enjoying them. You know, give me that thumbs up. And I know some of the ones popping up, they're still shaky and some aren't. I film way in advance. When I get a chance to film, you know, I film a pile at once, especially when I can film inside. So you're going to have stuff all the way through, possibly even early next year. It's going to be the older stuff. Some new stuff's mixed in. Yeah, that's the way it goes. But I do have a mount now, so it'll be a lot better. All right, I'm out. Let me see, I got a haircut. Oh, God, the gray is showing. Look at that. I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember if I did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.